Furious Kwanzaa! What's going on, everybody? Alright, video thing. Gotta love the forgotten holiday, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we totally didn't kill it the way we're gonna get with Christmas. <laughs> you, you think you stopped us, Trumpy? You think, think you got us? You orange oh, bastard. You. We took out Kwanzaa and no one even noticed. Yep. <laughs> nobody brought that up. Nobody's like, why does nobody say happy Kwanzaa anymore? You know why? Because nobody says it. <laughs> <laughs> as circuitous as that logic is. Yes. Bro, what are you getting into, buddy? Dog, what are you doing? So we're, we're, we're vlogging. The dog's doing something. He's frightened of dust. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bro. Bro. Buddy. Buddy, you want to hang out? You want to taste beer? <laughs> I don't know. It's a chip. It's okay. It's a chip that he can't get. Buddy, you want it? There you go. <laughs> okay. It's a chip he can't get because he's got too much face. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, if he's happy. Then you should be too. Yes. That is, that, that's how that works. Yeah. So, tonight, we're, we're, we're digging into a box. Oh. We have a box from Nickelbrook. It's a box of mystery. A mystery box. Except liquor labeling laws is mandated, um... So it's, it's not really um, particularly mysterious. Yeah, a, a bunch of liquor labeling laws have forced them to label a whole bunch of elements yep. that I'm going to show off on this side of the box. But anyway, it's four things that look cool, and I guess we get to vote on it to say which one they make a bunch of for next year. Why did we just go sleepy though? Like, uh, you our, saw that, right? Our lighting's messed up. Yeah. I'm okay <laughs> with it, like... If the webcam just decides, no, these two need to be old-timey, it's like, yeah, by all means. Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah. So, so they, they, are, they are tagged A through D, and I guess we'll decide which ones they should make more of next year. We will also avoid the really obvious D-related jokes. Well, it, hell, even the B-related jokes. But A's? Fuck you. A's are on the boards. Yeah, A jokes on the board. Nope. Even some C jokes. Once in a while, but you don't want to get too common with those, right? Yeah, anyway. So, A. Beer a. number A. Beer number A? <laughs> yes, beer number A. Mystery beer A. How many A's have you had today? <laughs> uh, probably not enough. Yeah. Or too many. I don't know. So, um, this one contains... Water, barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. So it's beer, then. <laughs> so beer. Yeah. But, like also, a wheat beer? Vegan cheese? Yeah, and vegan cheese. Yeah. And vegan cheese. It is either beer or vegan cheese. If this is vegan cheese, I'm going to be genuinely angry. <laughs> yes. Because I still can't okay. figure out how that shit works. So I've popped it, and let's, let's, let's do the ceremonial pour. So that's black. That is, that is black. Uh, if memory serves, A is the stout. Okay. So, well, that then made the oatmeal makes sense then. Oh, that's nice smell to it. This is totally back asswards if you're doing progressive tasting. So it never stops us from doing things before. I've tried. I've on I've earnestly tried. Yeah. And what did it get you? I don't know. Yeah. So fuck, fuck it. Smooth. Yeah, it little 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 bit of buzz. It's not innocent gun. No. And that's that's unfair. Like I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and be like, no, Nickelbrook should be able to knock out innocent guns oatmeal stout. That's yeah. That's that's not where I'm going with but this. But it's it's not better than either any of like the four bastards they've produced yeah. either. I think it's it's a fair oatmeal stout. I'd use it in gravy. Like, it's nice. Yeah. I'd, I'd stew a beef in it. Yeah. Certainly drinkable. Yeah. Yeah. I, there is a bit more bite than I expect from, yeah. an, oatmeal, from an oatmeal stout. Like, but the, that's... Also, not enough oatmeal, and I think that's kind of where I'm hitting this. Yeah. Like, it's not smooth enough to be oatmeal stout, and it's too buzzy to be, like, an American stout. Yeah. I don't know. Again, not bad. 
I mean, if if I give this the win, I'm not really gonna fault it. But yeah, well, I'll, like I'll be a little sad if I have to give that the win because it's 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 all right. But. Yeah. Okay, so beer B. Mystery beer B. B is the session. It, yes, yes. It, it's it's water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. It's beer. Beer. It's your CanCon dollars at work here, folks. Don't forget that. Okay. Well, licking it off my knuckles since it's an ale. Yeah, this should be, if memory serves, this is a sectional IPA. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just because I'm remembering as I go down the box, right? Yeah. Cheating, reading the box. I also read the test before I start answering questions. Who does that? Me! Uh, you, you took the one there where, like, it's 19 things and the last one is just hand in your paper. Yes. You shouldn't have done any of that. Yep. I, well, I also hum time warp during math tests. What do you want from me? I don't know. But anyway, here, here's what it looks like after you pour it. Yeah, fairly stock. Yeah, it, it, it looks just cloudy enough to be an ale I can appreciate. Yep. This, this, your doctor is not going to be concerned about. Yeah. Your doctor sees this in a jar, he's going to be like, uh, you're, you're going to be all right. It smells of citra hops. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. It tastes of citra hops. Eh. With a couple others in there. Sessional IPA. Yeah, session ale. I, it's it's, it's it, fine. It's clean. It's fresh. Yeah, it's I would drink this in the summer. It's like that this goes with a food. Like you, you give me this in a pile of French fries, I'm happy. Yeah, exactly. Well this is this is deck drinking, right? Like this is Yeah. You can get down to the waterfront, you've got this. Great. Here you go. Yeah. We're gonna knock these back all afternoon. Take her easy, go fishing, you know. Jet ski. You know, I wonder if Eddie counts as CanCon as well right now. I don't know. He, he, he is wearing a sweater. He's wearing a hockey sweater. Yeah. If so, Iron Maiden does a cover of the hockey sweater. I need this now. Yeah. Actually, you know what I want? I want an entire Iron Maiden album that's just Stomp and Tom covers. <laughs> uh, Come on, Bruce. Bruce. I know you're a viewer. <laughs> Bruce. We need a song oh. about PEI mud and how it looks like no other mud on the planet. That's because it's the blood of a dead guy. <laughs> Is that what we're saying? That's my explanation for every horrible thing that happens on that fucking rock. Okay. Beer number C. Yeah, that's really easy to pound back. Beer number this C. This is the New England IPA. Right. This so is contain. their strong beer. So it contains... 6.5, folks. Remember, 6.5 is strong. Yes. Well, Ontario decided 5 was strong some time ago, and, uh, well, the Belgians just laughed at us. Bax tastes like nail polish remover. That is strong beer. <laughs> yeah. So it contains water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. It's beer! Yeah! What a shock! Oh, it's going for distance. Yeah, yeah, that one's shooting for distance. Licking it off my knuckles. Wow. Clearly, that's how the tasting really yeah. works. It's not It's not this fancy shit. Lick it off your knuckles after you okay. Anybody that's like, no, 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 you've got to carefully balance out everything is like, no, I should be able to mix skin right into that. Yeah, just, just, what does it taste like with my skin oils? You know? What, what does it taste? How does it pair with human meat? You know, if a brewmaster's sitting there going, no, that's what's missing, people. I'm probably going to go there once. Once. It's, well, isn't that the principle behind Rogue's dead guy? Yeah, kind of. There's double dead guy. Two guys? Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, if Fallout's any indication, you can mix a person into a mediocre New England and apparently becomes drinkable. Yeah. All right. So holding it up to the camera again can't can't see my fingers through it. Well, your doctor's not going to be concerned. Yeah, it's not as strong. It smells well. sour. Yeah. Mm. 
like the session more. Despite the fact that this should actually hit harder, this it's like a weaker version of the session. Except not, because it's two I, points more. I know. That's that's why I'm like, what the hell? How did you do this? Like this this tastes in every way like the runner up to the session, and yet this should be smacking. Like it's harder. it's got a smooth finish. It's yeah. got a really new, it's got a really smooth finish. I don't know what makes it New England. Maybe there's clam juice? <laughs> no, they'd have to put that on the label, right? I suppose that's fair. Yeah. I've had better is really what it's uh, coming down to. Like, they've had far better IPAs. Yeah. But why aren't they? Like, in terms of things that'll knock me down, I've got better in the... Oh, fuck, I got better in my room, man. Yeah, but we've got better behind us. No. So, our last one... I still one, touch my number four. Our last one. Well, coming off my fingers, it tastes sour. No, it's a dry hot sour. Yeah, okay. So, we, these are things... Those are words that push my buttons on a good day. I kind of like the fact that sours have become a big thing. Well, you know, everyone has to make an IPA. And now it's like, okay, the, the real game is in weird sours, yeah. I guess. Well, if that's the case, then Rouge River just keeps knocking it out. Well, I mean, Rouge River opened, you know, by opened with in under a year by winning gold in the most competitive category at the OCBs. So I think I think they may have no or thing or three. Once in a while, right? Okay, so holding it up to the camera. Um, can you see my fingers through it? A little bit. A little bit, maybe. See now, if your doctor sees this much carbonation, that they're gonna be concerned. Yeah, that's really fizzy. Smells like apricots. Yeah. Smells like exactly what I expect a dry hop to smell like, honestly. That is sour at the front, yeah. and sour in the middle, and sour at the back. And why'd you dry hop it if I can't tell where the hops are? Well, that's it. Like, like this is nice. It's nice. I, I think, I, I hate to say it, but I think that's the winner, but... Yeah, it's... This is... You put this out on the market, people are going to drink this. Like, this is fine summer drinking. This is fine winter drinking. This goes with bread. Oh, God, yeah. But, it's a doggo. But, no, like, it petered out on my tongue about two-thirds of the way through. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's gone, and I'm like, so, I know there are hops in here. There have to be. <laughs> yeah, the, what is, what is, what does our label tell us? Oh, okay. Water, barley, wheat, coriander, Himalayan sea salt, and lactobacallicus, which is, I presume, a uh, yeast activator, so we kind of almost got a milk ale going on here. Yeah. You can't call it a milk ale in Ontario because um, the Canadian Dairy Council got really uppity as to what constitutes milk. I don't blame them. It's, it's screw their stock you. and trade. It, it is their stock and trade. And screw almonds. Screw almonds. You that's don't get to pretend to be milk. That's not milk, that's juice. That that's some sort of slurry. It's not even juice. Almond squeezy. <laughs> Almond paste? No, but it's not thick enough to be paste. What what Almond like, squirt? <laughs> okay. Almond well almond squirt is some sort of diet soda with grapefruit and also almonds, and that sounds terrible. Oh yeah, no, that's foul. If I saw somebody drinking that, I would hit them to knock it out of their hand. I'd be like, no, I just saved your life. You owe me. <laughs> Almond squirt. It's gonna haunt an audience member. You wake up in the middle of the night in cold sweats, you now know why. Alright. Well, now I'm going back to this to see if I can actually catch more of the salt. The salt's there. It hits you in the middle. Yeah, it is there. It's on the back half. Um, That's not bad. Like, it's really. not bad. It's, But is it better than... Um, Collective Arts' is sea salt and coriander sour, 
which, how the fuck did both breweries come up with a sea salt and coriander sour in the same year? Well, Shadowrunners? Is it Shadowrunners? Maybe. Maybe. There's this deep cover beer espionage. That is such a basic punk campaign. Jesus. That's it. Well, okay, You're hired it, by a distillery. Well, that's it. It's it's like, again, I come, I come back to Shadowrunners because it's fucking Seattle. Yeah. And it's like, look, I just need you to jack their recipe. We need to beat them to market on it. No. And somehow Johnson screws you, but you have the recipe. Well, and then you just make it yourself and you're like, we got shot a whole bunch. But Steve can make this and we can have it. I've got a retractable arm-mounted chainsaw. I don't give a shit. Well, okay, anyone who has a retractable arm-mounted chainsaw just cares about getting smashed. Yep. Look at it. Shadowrun is missing out on having hipsters as a predominant element. Shadowrun's missing out on a bunch of things, and not even within the standard context of Shadowrun needs a thorough rework to become a playable game. Like, it's... Shadowrun is so locked into where it wants to be that it's not moving into a future. Which is weird, because the future has now passed Shadowrun. Well, I mean, Cyberpunk is weirdly retro-futuristic. Like, that, that's something that happened in 1991. But, but it's like, still... It's still workable. It, it's still viable. I just think that... If you take one element of the present and bring it into that, it's more interesting. So if you tell me, oh yeah, we're actually replicating current Seattle culture for a change. Well, why not, right? That 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 seems like more of a place and more of a game to me. And well, anyway, you tell me we... we're running a punk campaign and we get to the end of it and the fucker running us is like, okay, well, I'm going to pay you in Bitcoin or whatever the in-setting equivalent to Bitcoin is. And we didn't make this clear at the start of the run. Like, like, it was like, no, you pay me in fucking creds because I need food. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I mean, there's the joke about company script and script, and Burger King has their own cryptocurrency yeah. now. But anyway, we're talking about cyberpunk role-playing games, which means we're not deciding what beer wins. First off, there is no situation where discussing cyberpunk is not always the right answer. Second off, honestly, I'm really inclined just to give it to the sour. Yeah. I yeah. guess. It's I'm with you on that. The most interesting flavor of everything here, again, that New England. It is weird for me to be not in any way pleased with an IPA, but like, if I had to choose between that and Goose Island, I think I'd actually take Goose Island. I know it's a mistake. Well, Goose Island has a flavor. That's it's it. a flavor that makes me hate it the more I drink it. But that that's but, by but design. At least, at least I'm engaging with it, yeah. right? As opposed to. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I drank that. Like that's that's all I'm getting out of that that IPA, which is a real shame. Cause I like Nickel Brook and I really like IPAs. So an unremarkable IPA just disappoints. Yeah. Well, there's this. I mean, again, this is nice. I do like the sea salt. Yeah, it's it, it's a good touch. Yeah. I mean, I realize that beer is already a desiccant, right? So, you know, wander the corner for a Gatorade after we finish all four cans. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Petro's open. It's winter. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. But, okay, so we're going to finish... I'll let you finish off the D. I'll finish off A, because it's fine, and it's winter, so... A dark, Stout! A dark beer in December. Yeah. Never a bad option. What a crazy concept, right? Jesus. It took us 20 minutes. Yeah, we've been farting around. Well, yeah, we could have done this in 10. Started talking cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. If we'd done it in 10, we'd have looked like alcoholics. That's fair. We're not. <sighs> no. We just enjoy this too much. That's, it's that's whiskey's really fault for being delicious. Whiskey is the water of life. For a reason. Like, like it, it, I don't need alcohol. I just like it. Yeah. Like, I need one coffee a day. Coffee is fucking delicious, however, well, so I'll have, like, four. Two Rockstar. 
every day for 10 years. <laughs> it's a habit. But I still like the taste. That's it. It's why I don't switch to something else. Like, it's not like I'm sitting there going, man, I really need this caffeine in my system. I'm just more, well, I have had my first rock star of the day. It is after 8 p.m. I should have my second. <sighs> so, so this is, I guess, our... We're going to do more video things. We should try. Assuming They're not all going to be this, but no. we're going to try to do more video things throughout the year. This is A1. Like, if you... We should move the fern every time. <laughs> no, we should not move the fern. The fern well, now is... that I've said it, the bit's gone, right? Like, <laughs> unless we cut this, somebody's going to be like, oh, they're trying to fuck with us. The plant's going to change. <laughs> okay, in a perfect world, I have infinite budget for plastic <laughs> plants, <laughs> and it changes every week. Well, given that we never cross field into where it is, we could just Photoshop it. <laughs> uh, now you're making me work. Okay, no. <laughs> Here's what we do. It we is buy, green. We could green screen it. Like, like, again, we set up a green screen on hangers just behind us. We take a plate of woods of the room and we just change the plant every time. Uh. Though, we should find out, like, it's if people are enjoying this once this is up, let us know. Yeah, just just again, there's there's a like button. It it makes me feel good about myself. There's a dislike button, which uh no, honestly, hit that too because YouTube only cares about people clicking buttons. Just tell us if we're liberal socialists. He is I'm not. But well, I Okay, no. Like Liberal and socialists are two different things. I know. I just really enjoy it when they throw it at us. Okay. But if you, you labor hit... socialists, really? Must have missed that memo. Like like again, if you, if you hit if, if if you hit the dislike button, YouTube still likes it us if we hit if you hit that button. There's evidently a bell jigger thing now that matters because everybody keeps telling me, click on the bell after you watch my video. Okay, well and I'm like, calm click... down there, Seth. I, I watch you every night. Well You're if you okay. click the bell, it means it pushes a notification to your phone. Oh, that's why that's happening. That's annoying. Yeah, that that would be terrible. No one should want the bell jigger yeah. thing. I realized that if our channel was monetized in any way, the bell jigger thing earns me 14 extra cents a day. <laughs> oh, we're dreadfully poor. Dreadfully poor. Yeah. We had to pay for this with actual money. Yeah, we, we, we exchanged currency for beer. Yeah. Like plebeian. Yeah. Uh, fucking schlubs as we are. But if, if you're actually interested in talking to us... Comments are cool. I will read them. I won't. They're I, YouTube comments. I will read them because I have to. Uh, I might write back. Uh, I might make fun of you. I'm good at that. <laughs> Take it as a given we are going to belittle you, either in the comments or on the show. Because if you've ever heard the show, then you understand that we will belittle you because it's what we do. This is how we work. And also, this is this is apparently a beer video. Yeah, why not? So I'm allowed to be belligerent. What? Allowed? You mean allowed? That Encouraged. sounds like there's a permission system. Exactly. Encouraged? Required? Expected? We're turning purpler as this beer, this video goes on. Are we? Jesus. <laughs> eh, whatever. Fuck it. Could be worse. Hey, we're not as belligerent as some people. So, you're not going to see me leave a StarCraft match because I hallucinated Void Rage. That's right, I'm digging that ghost up. Fuck you, Idra. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I just watch StarCraft videos. Bronze League Heroes is a great channel. Oh, yeah? Well, it, it's pro Star, StarCraft commentators commenting on replays from Bronze League. Oh, God. So it is like, hey... Just an SCV turning. This guy's just microing the shit out of his SCV. Well, it it, co it keeps coming back to, yeah, that's a great playstyle from three years ago. Yep. Well, StarCraft is like chess in that regard. 
Like, well, that's the intent. Blizzard is trying to make StarCraft as balanced as chess. And they, they get close. It's never going to completely happen without total homogenization. That's why chess is as balanced as it is. But I, you will see playstyles rise and fall because units get changed. I, I started watching StarCrafts again because Carbox is hilarious. And even just some of the units he's using, and I'm like, man, I remember when they worked that way. They don't work that way no more. <laughs> Like, those are just features that are flat fucking gone from those units. Alright, so we got B and C left, because mine's feeling a little like Yeah, I got like a drop and a half. What Again, this is actually, like, like we'll have to vote on this, but I am yeah, pleased we'll, with Yeah, we're going to submit our thing to Nickelbrook. Alright. Uh, I, I will link to whatever relevant details for Nickelbrook there are in the thing, the doobie doo. I am going to point this out right now. So the beer that I liked is D. You have to try and make up a joke about that that is not the obvious fucking jokes that come to mind. I mean, that there's there's the low-hanging fruit. And then, then there's the fruit that's already on the ground. And then there's the fruit on the ground. And then there's some fruit way up the tree. Like, you need a fucking ladder and shit. Yep. Get your cherry picker. See what you can do. Do that thing. Because if, if you give me, oh, well, Jim likes the D, and I just fucking took that from you. <laughs> if you try to do that, I will find you, and I will slap the bitch out of you. Still trying to figure out how that would work. I feel like that would splatter onto the wall and then run just screaming out of the room. Like, does, does it, like, fall off the wall well, and re-coagulate on the floor and cuss you out and well, demand to see your manager? You know, it's like when you smack the highlights out of Knife Chow's hair. Like, it just, it hits against shit and you're like, wait! The fuck? Thomas Jane, save us. <laughs> Now, since that was under five seconds, Brian can't sue us, right? Probably. CanCon, motherfucker, you can't touch me! <laughs> I don't think we qualify for grants. What the hell's the use of the CRTC if I can't cite CanCon to avoid legal repercussions? I don't think that's how that works. That is totally how the CRTC I think we works. Are, I think we are subject to all legal, legal repercussions. And like four or five extra? And then there's like extra repercussions for not including Katie Lang's constant craving once a fucking day. Oh, God, I don't think I've heard that song in like ten years. I think it played at 3 p.m. every day on my hometown radio station because they were goddamn lazy. They're like, fuck it, people listen to Katie Lang, and it's like, do they? Does anybody? Fuck it, we, we only need to set up a 12-hour playlist once. Anybody that's watching this and isn't from the great state of Kanukistan, can you... <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us what you think of Katie Lang? Have you had any exposure, in fact, to Katie Lang? Katie Lang being the non-union Canadian equivalent to Melissa Etheridge. If, if you're somehow not familiar. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I right. feel like I'm now getting a cease and desist from Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> uh, you're, I'm, okay. This Again. is why we don't do videos, because it's just legal action after legal action. Okay. Okay, if you want to somehow give us monetary support because Melissa as Melissa Etheridge is suing us, sue us. do so. Just and get in contact. We will. We will. We will tell you how to give us money for Jim's legal defense. <laughs> Melissa, it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. KD, you know you're right. We're right though. Yeah, you're welcome to come on the show. Either version of it. This one, if you can find your way to the basement. Or, you know, the podcast, which is also in the basement, but allows for far wider space, because it's over the internet. Yeah. Either way, uh, I mean, we need someone to take the place of uh, fake rubber tree. It's true. Yeah. It, Katie Lang, if you want to replace the house plants. Thumbs up. Well, see, uh, now we're not getting sued. Now they're just going to be like, block. <laughs> block. Okay. All right, so I think that's a video. More or less. We still got the other two beer, right? Yeah, but we got to decide what to do with them. 
<sighs> See, I watch too many YouTube videos. My brain's like, put up a survey, then go like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. No, like, what was, well, yeah, C was that fucking New England. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the one that's supposed to knock us down, but doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't do shit. Like, Strong I feel, my ass. I feel like B's the better one. It is! That's the joke! Like, the, there's part of me that thinks that B and C are the same recipe, just at different levels of, uh, strength. Well, let's, let's check the backs here, right? Water barley, water barley, wheat, 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 hops and yeast and hops and yeast, same quantity, yeah, no, just 2% more. Yeah, like, if, if, if you tell me that they're operating on the same recipe-ish, uh, I'd believe it. Yeah. But again, uh, video, thing, sup. We done? We done. You know, we didn't do Blues Man for this. I feel like it's extra racist if we do it live. Like, it's a little racist most of the it's time. It's fair, but yeah, and then everybody can see us and they're like, wait, they're just a pair of skinny white guys, what the fuck is this? This is full on, this This is full on Amos and Andy shit, isn't it? It's like, not quite, this is actually just a consequence of unfiltered beer. This That's is, all it is. Nickelbrook filters their bills. Yes, the they skin. do. Because I wouldn't be saying this if they didn't. Nickelbrook. Come on. Filtering. Remove the filter. Stay tuned next time when we review the Muskoka Summer Box. Probably. They're unfiltered, so we'll be extraordinary about everything. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.